I-25 male, caught my wife, 24 female, cheating four days ago. To provide some context, my wife and I met when we were approximately 10 years old. We've had a thing for each other since we were kids, but it wasn't until we were 18 that it became serious. I knew she was madly in love with me, and I was madly in love with her. Therefore, the only logical next step was marriage. When we were 21, I proposed to her on Valentine's Day over a weekend away, and the rest is history. We both make ends meet with respectable careers, lovely well-kept homes, no children, a great group of friends and polite families. In my opinion, everything was wonderful. When I was searching through her phone, I discovered the adultery. I saw messages to a man from her workplace. This wasn't overt flirting, but it was unusual and provocative to me. He'd say things like, I've had such a long day at work, and she'd say things like, I've had such a long day at work. I confess that I have a temper, and I was not going to let this happen. I told her she couldn't contact him, that she couldn't block him in front of my face, and that she wouldn't have me if she did. She got all I requested of her. This leads me to Sunday evening. My cousin and I run a company together. We began it at the age of 20 and it quickly took off. We have an office where I sometimes sleep when my job load becomes too much for me. I generally order in and get the job done, and if it's too late, I'll sleep it off. So I texted my wife about lunchtime, me and cousin, are probably going to be healthier all night, I'll order in so you can dine without me, and don't have to wait up. I adore you. She answered minutes later, saying she was sorry she wouldn't be able to meet me that night, but she wished me luck with my job and stated she loved me as well. Everything was fine. Think about late that night. I decided that work had eaten up too much of my weekend and that I needed to visit my wife, whom I assumed also wanted to see me. So, about 7 p.m., I started making my way home. When I arrived home, I heard voices upstairs, but couldn't make them out, so I walked up and saw my wife and the man. I acknowledged that I didn't manage it as well as I could have. I began by hitting his as he attempted to look, dude, I'm sorry. I threw him out and told him he had to go home without his shoes. My wife was frantic from the time I stepped in, and I almost got violent with her as well, but I didn't. Throughout it all, she screamed and cried, stating it was a foolish mistake, but by this time, my fears from the text conversations had been validated. I constantly urged her to conserve her breath and that I didn't want to hear any of her illogical justifications. I debated returning to the office, but I instructed her to gather her bags and remain wherever that she could. I needed her out of my sight. Since then, she has remained with her closest buddy. Since then, her friends and family have blown up my phone, but I've ignored them. I did, however, inform her father of what had occurred. He was furious and sided with me. My rage has given way to regret at the idea that our nearly lifetime adventure has been thrown away for some sleazy person from her workplace from the first day. I've been keeping busy, but I'd be lying if I claimed I haven't spent every spare time sulking slash crying lamenting over what occurred. I'll be calling attorneys first thing tomorrow morning to start the divorce process. Update. Since the original article, I've done a lot of stuff. I had my STD tested and everything was okay. I turned over my portion of the company to my business partner, relative, temporarily until the divorce is finalized. I terminated her phone contract that I paid for Ha. I took down all of her photographs. I packed all of her clothing and I've been H up with someone. So let me get started. The fact that my STD test came back negative was a positive start, but it wasn't enough to lift my spirits. I won't sugarcoat. It, the issue still bothered me. I couldn't forget about it since she and her friends were continually blowing up my phone. I ultimately went to meet with her parents. Her mother tried to get me back into the family, but her father knew I was a set in my ways and was disappointed in his daughter. This occurred around two days following the post. I like her father and think we'll keep in touch since we're both simple guys who understand one another. I've always admired him, and it's a pity his daughter is preventing me from officially being his son anymore. I ignored her friends, who had phoned me more times than I could count. It helped that I spent a lot of time with my friends and family. I had a buddy over and we spent a few hours photographing her and removing all of her belongings from the home. This was really soothing for me, and it felt like I was removing a stain from my life. It was much more beneficial than I anticipated. Divorce processes have begun, however I fear I will have severe difficulties with her signing the documents and so forth. I've already signed away my stake of my business, so she can't get her paws on it. I've avoided any communication except with attorneys, as you all instructed. 
I debated using the man's wife as leverage in case he attempted to bring charges against me. I laid hands on him when I caught him in my home. Finally, I reasoned, why not, and messaged her on Facebook. She originally believed me, but then stated he informed her it was a lie. All I had to do was show her the doorbell video of him approaching my front door and getting escorted out without his shoes. I don't believe he's still blissfully married. Now for the next chapter. My mum believed I'd like attending her work's Christmas party. I figured why not, I hadn't gone out since the event and needed a break. I went and was introduced to the daughter of one of her co-workers. We hit it off and left the party together, but we did that night. She came over a couple nights before Christmas Eve, and we hit it off right away. We ate up many times, and she stayed for two nights. Now she's not a love at first sight substitute for my wife, but she is a nice lady who is surely keeping me company at a time when I need it the most. Christmas Day was more difficult than I imagined since I'd spent it with my so for a long, but having my family around me, feeding and watering me, helped a lot. Overall, I believe I am dealing much better than I anticipated. I just wanted to thank everyone who reached out to me, everyone who left a kind remark, and everyone who has gone through the same situation and is still standing strong. Story 2 I'm getting better at regulating the negative emotions. Now I want to know how to get them out of my thoughts entirely. Hello everyone. Long story short, my wife cheated on both of us with a married couple we were acquainted with, and she is now in a relationship with both of them. It was incredibly distressing for me since I had always been concerned about them, and her cheating with them was my worst nightmare. She knew this, and it turned out that she and her two pals were all competent and ready to inflict that nightmare on me. It was a three-pronged betrayal with so many falsehoods and gaslighting from all three. We'd been apart for five months. I try to keep in touch as little as possible since we have a child together. She's not fully out of my life since we're still negotiating custody, which is currently to me. So, ever since I found the affair, I've been battling like I've never struggled before, with mental health difficulties when I previously had none. I'm confident I have full-blown PTSD as a result of this, but I've accepted it and I'm learning to manage my emotions and thoughts when I'm provoked. These are my biggest triggers and something sets them off every day, disclaimer. I have nothing against gays or polys. Couples in threes with two ladies people who resemble any of the AP. Cars that resemble the AP. Certain songs I connect with them. Some areas of my house, parts the AP was hired to remodel. There are more, but these are the most important slash common ones. When I'm triggered, I'm instantly bombarded with pictures of them having kissing slash cuddling, etc. And I'm struck with a deep, overwhelming rage. Then it's as if I have to talk myself down reviewing every nasty thing and lie she's done to me and convincing myself she'll do the same to them one day. Then I have to go through how I'm doing the things I like and how I'm going to find someone to love and satisfy my desires with. I'm okay at the end, but it's so emotionally exhausting that I feel like I have no energy afterwards. After that, I typically simply want to sit around or sleep. If I can't, it's difficult for me to continue working on whatever I'm working on. I'm afraid I'll never get over these triggers and will have to give myself an emotionally taxing talk down numerous times a day for the rest of my life. It simply feels like there's no way around it. I mean, how can I look at a three-way coupling and not think of them? How can I see individuals that resemble them and not be reminded of them? It's a daily annoyance for me, and there are so many things that remind me of them since the AP were a large part of our life as our friends when we were together. Is there anybody who can give me some guidance on how to finally get rid of these emotional energy vampires that plague my mind?